we're factoring using quadra a quadratic pattern. So when you look at this x to the fourth power, don't panic yet, it's not as bad as it looks. So what we're gonna do here, our trick is we're gonna substitute x squared for u. So instead of writing x squared or dealing with x squared, it's like we're factoring it out, u and u is gonna represent x squared. With that being said, so if u represents x squared, instead of writing x to the fourth power, I can replace with u. And if u is the same thing as x squared, if I do u squared, u squared is the same thing as x to the fourth power. So u squared plus 16, I'm gonna replace x squared with u. u plus 64. Oh, look at that. Now, we're going to factor mentally like we've done a million times. So, two numbers that multiply to 64 and the same two numbers that add up to 16. 8 and 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 plus 8 is 16. All right. Now, we need to go back and undo what we just did. So I'm going to substitute u back to x squared how it should be. So x squared plus 8, x squared plus 8. Can I factor this out? Can I simplify this some more? Uh, you can leave it as that or you can't write x squared plus 8 squared. And that means, you know, remember that square represents, multiplies itself these many times? So x squared plus 8 times x squared plus 8, or this times itself twice. So if you want to leave the answer like this, that's fine. If you want to write your answer like that, it's cool too. Another one. So I'm going to substitute x squared with u. So u squared minus 18u plus 81. Factor that. Negative 9 times negative 9 equals positive 81. Negative 9 minus 9 equals negative 18. I'm going to go back to x squared, how that was. So x squared minus 9, x squared minus 9. Now be careful with this. This, I can simplify this one more time because this is difference of squares. This is a perfect square, there's a minus right here. And perfect square, perfect square. So I'm going to have to factor this out. x plus 3, x minus 3. These two terms belong to x squared minus 9. Now I'm going to have to factor the other part too. x plus 3, x minus 3. Hmm. You can leave it like this, or since I know that the square represents, hey, multiply by itself twice, notice I have x plus 3 twice, or I can write x plus 3 squared, x minus 3 squared. This is your answer, or this is the answer. I excel will take either way, and they actually mean the same thing. Substitute. Factor. Negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. Add them together is negative 10. I'm going to go back to x squared. This is easy to recognize. These two are perfect squares, so I can take the square root of them and factor them. Negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. 
be careful with this. One, one is a perfect square. So when you take the square root of one, you get one. So the second term is also difference of two squares. And this one, there's no way for you to rewrite this, so you have to leave it like this. This is going to be your final answer. Last one. Do you want me to take your stuff out? Mm hmm. Do you have it? I already took it. Oh, okay. Pretty good. So substitute this for you u squared minus 2u plus 1, factor it, multiply two negatives make a positive, add negative 1 to negative 1, you get negative 2, go back to x squared, Difference of squares. This is very similar to number two that we just did. But the reason why I wanted to do with ones is because we always forget that these two are, that one is a perfect square. So don't stop right there. So you can write your answer like this, or you can write your answer like this.